Good evening and welcome to Austin Homes inaugural Home and Design Awards. I'm Trevor Scott with CBS Austin and I'm excited to spend part of the evening with you and we're really excited to have all of you join us from the comfort of your own homes. Now you probably recognize the background. We're broadcasting tonight from the newly renovated French Legation State Historic Site. This is one of the oldest homes in Austin and a lot of research has informed the work here, including restoring the original doors and floors, replacing canvas interior wall coverings and light fixtures, reproducing original casement windows and updating electrical security and heating and cooling systems. New site entrances and landscaping will also welcome visitors and new brick walkways will provide enhanced accessibility. Now, I know you're all very excited and eager to get to the awards tonight, but first, help me welcome Austin Holmes Editor-in-Chief and my friend, the Radiant Madeline Holler. Thanks, Trevor. We're super excited to have you with us this evening. With close to 500 entries and 3,000 images, judging the projects was no small feat. We'd like to thank our incredible panel of judges this year. These talented architects and interior designers have worked on projects around the world. Speaking of judges, here's a quick message from HGTV star Nicole Curtis. Hey, it's Nicole Curtis with HGTV's Rehab Attic saying huge congratulations to all of you winners. Do you have any idea how many submissions we had? It was so overwhelming. So I got to tell you, it was no small feat for you to win. Take that plaque, hang it up and celebrate it. Tell your friends, tell your colleagues, tell your neighbors, tell the strangers walking down the street that you won and congratulations again. The inaugural Home and Design Awards would not have been possible without the support of our presenting sponsor, Keller Williams. I'd like to welcome Wendy Harrelson, Regional Director for South Texas. She's an owner in multiple Keller Williams Market Centers and one of six divisional leaders in the company. Hi, I'm Wendy Harrelson with Keller Williams along with my partner, Jen Lewis. Keller Williams wants to thank everyone who nominated the incredible builders, designers, and architects and congratulate all the nominees today that helped continually make Austin area homes a stunning reflection of this great city. Keller Williams partners with many of you as we help our residents own a piece of Austin. And often they're lucky enough to own a beautiful reflection of the work many of you here today have done. On behalf of all the Keller Williams family, we are so grateful you're here. Now back to our awards, Madeline. Thank you, Wendy. Without further ado, let's start announcing winners. Thank you, Madeline. Now for the categories in exteriors, starting with deck, porch, patio, and outdoor kitchen. The finalists are B. Jane Gardens, Historic Hancock Outdoor Living and Entertaining, F. Wright Homes, Equestrian Estate, LaRue Architects, Ski Slope, and the winner is B. Jane Gardens, Historic Hancock Outdoor Living and Entertaining. The perfect spot to watch a Longhorn football game, host a ping pong tournament, or just enjoy an alfresco dinner. This renovated outdoor space in the Hancock neighborhood beckons with a pool, spa, cabana, lounge areas, and a kitchen with herbs, hibiscus, and citrus plantings. The space also features a terrace with a cozy fire pit and hammocks, which are both ideal spots for stargazing. For exterior use of color, the finalists are Two Blue Chairs, Oak Haven Combi Group, 1010 West 10 Robert Leeper Landscapes, Mexican Pink And the winner is Combi Group, 1010 West 10 Modernist designer, painter and sculptor Joaquin Tenrero was considered one of Brazil's preeminent 20th century designers Inspired by his work, Combi Group chose a mix of horizontal garapa hardwood and vertical ipe siding for the exteriors of this downtown condo project. The two tropical hardwoods were oiled before installation, making the warm brown tones pop. And now for residential landscape design less than one acre. The finalists are Design Ecology, Design Aquatex, Terrytown Sculpture Garden, Eden Garden Design, Hickory Creek, Robert Leeper Landscapes, Modern Cottage. And the winner is Eden Garden Design, Hickory Creek. The design of this Barton Creek Homes courtyard has nods to both the Mediterranean and the Hill Country in its plant palette as rosemary, lavender, and roses intermingle with beaked yucca, Wheeler Sotol, and Pink Parade Red Yucca. Creeping fig vine covers the courtyard columns and one wall of the dwelling while a grove of Texas redbud trees defines the entry and frames the home. 
for residential landscape design more than one acre. The finalists are Eden Garden Design, Horseshoe Bay, Epright Homes, 12th Century Manor House and Cottage, Studio Balconies Landscape Architecture, Salado Ranch. And the winner is Epright Homes, 12th Century Manor House and Cottage. Inspired by the aesthetic of a traditional English manor, this home features a main house, guest house, outdoor living area, gazebo, and a separate garage connected by trellised walkways. A wash with greenery and flowers, the intricate landscape design was integral to giving the estate a cohesive feel that flows from one area to another. For residential landscape water feature, the winner is Eden Garden Design, Devern. While working from home during the pandemic, a couple was inspired to update the landscaping outside the windows of their home office. Their request? Add a vessel that would attract birds and offset noise from the street with the sound of flowing water. Eden Garden Design transformed the space into a bird sanctuary with a custom board-formed water feature that acts as a beautiful focal point. For residential swimming pool and or spa, the finalists are B. Jane Gardens, Historic Hancock Outdoor Living and Entertaining. Design Ecology, Design Aquatics, Barton Creek Vanishing Edge. McKinney York Architects, Hillside Pavilion. And the winner is McKinney York Architects, Hillside Pavilion. This small pavilion and pool overlooking Canyon Lake is the ideal place to catch the sunrise or sunset. Oriented to capture prevailing breezes and funnel views through to the pool and lake, the pavilion is nestled into the hill to form a recreation space that is truly connected to the landscape. And now for the categories in interior, starting with children's room or play space. And the finalists are Band Design, Historic Travis Heights, Coveted House, Whimsical Wonder, Shear and Company Interior Design, Pimp Hill Kids Suite, and the winner is Coveted House, Whimsical Wonder. Tasked to create an organized space for two little girls that would inspire creativity and encourage them to use their imagination, Coveted House delivered with this colorful room featuring bright chairs, a patterned rug, plenty of shelf space, and a wallpapered ceiling filled with butterflies. And now closets. The finalists are Bonterra Bill. West Austin Closet Edition, Urban Space Interiors, High Drama, High Rise Closet. And the winner is Bonterra Bill, West Austin Closet Edition. Boasting 450 linear feet of storage space, this renovated closet feels like its own mini apartment. The his side of the his and hers closet has dark stained walnut cabinetry, European brass hardware, and custom velvet drawer valets while the her side includes floor-to-ceiling high-gloss cabinetry, floral wallpaper, and black glass tinted shelves. For conservatory, screen room, or sunroom, the winner is Mark Ashby Design, House on Taylor's Branch. While this restored 1968 lake house was designed to be a family vacation home, it also serves as a hub for entertaining friends. Mark Ashby Design morphed the lower level back patio into a two-story screened-in porch with an oversized custom ceramic chandelier, collected furnishings, and beautiful blue concrete tile that continues inside throughout the entire lower level of the home. For dining room, modern, the finalists are Band Design, Rolling Wood New Build, Laura Burton Interiors, Feather House, Sarah Stacy Interior Design, Madison Avenue. And the winner is Laura Burton Interiors, Feather House. There's nothing cookie cutter about this kitchen dining area. The bold project by Laura Burton Interiors eschews the common kitchen lighting methodology. Instead of suspended pendants over the island or recessed cans, it utilizes a custom LED system. The result is a unique lighting array centered on the island that makes an artistic statement on the ceiling. For dining rooms, traditional, the finalists are Band Design, Camelot New Build, Lee Chu Designs Limited, El Greco, Shear and Company Interior Design, Red Mesa. And the winner is Lee Chu Designs Limited, El Greco. 
Talk about seeing green. This Terrytown dining room by Lee Chu Designs goes bold while hewing to a timeless classic style. Its black and white wallpaper and traditional furnishings are juxtaposed with a fearless green hue splashed across the chairs and carpet. For full bath, the finalists are Amity Worrell & Company, Alta Vista J. Fisher Interiors, Bell Mountain Urban Space Interiors, Ultra Moody Master Bath And the winner is J. Fisher Interiors, Bell Mountain in this dazzling primary bathroom, your eyes immediately go to the green fusion granite from Brazil, which is clad on the walls, countertop, shower floor, and window sills. Other stunning elements of the full bath include a standalone tub, clear shower, and large windows that display the trees outside. For guest suite, the finalists are Jane Reese Interiors, 360 Bridge Lake House Project. Shear and Company Interior Design, Hemp Hill Guest Suite. Urban Space Interiors, Downtown Retreat. And the winner is Jane Reese Interiors, 360 Bridge Lake House Project. When renovating this space for a college aged man, Jane Reese Interiors took the room in a masculine direction with a contemporary style and hints of a luxury ranch lodge. The bedroom includes a deep brown crock wall and large Clint Eastwood art, while the bathroom has eye-catching Queen of Spain wallpaper. For kitchen, the finalists are Amity Worrell & Company, East 9th Street, Coexist Studio, Paramount Residence, Meredith Owen Interiors, Amara Drive, and the winner is Coexist Studio, Paramount Residence. This kitchen is inspired by the timeless aesthetics and raw materiality of Scandinavian design. Contrasting the rough, raw limestone exteriors of the home, the kitchen uses natural but refined elements such as antique oak cabinets and honed concrete countertops and backsplash to bring warmth and richness to the space. A blend of matte and lacquered surfaces also provides interest and balance to the materiality of the room. For laundry room or mud room, the finalists are CG and S Design Build, Workhorse Laundry Room, Meredith Owen Interiors, Amara Drive, Restructure Studio, Brookhaven Remodel. And the winner is Meredith Owen's Interior, Amara Drive. While designing this mud room, Meredith Owen Interiors knew it had to contain the washer and dryer, but it also needed room for sports equipment, shoes, handbags, and household essentials. Whether the homeowner is rinsing fresh cut flowers from the market, wrapping a newly purchased baby gift, or running from one kid's sport activity to the next, each design element in this room allows for tasks to be completed easily and in a well-organized manner. Now more than ever, a library, study, or home office are some of the most lived in and desired rooms of a home. Keller Williams is excited to present the winner and finalist for Library, study, or home office. The finalists are Amity Worrell and Company, Mayfield Park, Band Design, Rollingwood New Build, Liz McPhail Interiors, West Enfield Pattern and Patina. And the winner is Liz McPhail Interiors, West Enfield Pattern and Patina. Once an underutilized office, this room was updated by Liz McPhail Interiors into a multifunctional space that could support the family's storage needs, hold books, and display treasured collections and family photos. The rattan and glass coffee table is a vintage find, while the red lamp was a family piece. The room especially stands out with its bold blue-green wall and cabinet wash. For living room or great room, modern, the finalists are Brit Design Group, Lake Austin Estate. Laura Burton Interiors, Feather House. Mosier Luxury Homes, Deep Eddy Residence. And the winner is Brit Design Group, Lake Austin Estate. Bold hues fill this Lake Austin property. The owner is a trained chef and a successful entrepreneur who loves to entertain, so the design had to suit his eclectic style and numerous hobbies. Brit Design Group floated large silk fixtures over the primary public living and dining areas to lower it to a more human scale. The space also includes a walk-in humidor. For living room or great room traditional, the finalists are 
Band Design, Camelot New Build, John William Interiors, Griffith Residence, Shear and Company Interior Design, Hemphill Living Room. And the winner is Shear and Company Interior Design, Hemphill Living Room. When revamping this 1910 Hemphill Park house, Shear and Company worked to fuse the homeowner's clean, modern aesthetic with the home's architecture and history. The living room melds traditional pieces with vintage and modern elements, grounded by a Turkish rug and lit from above by a vintage mid-century chrome chandelier. A show-stopping pair of oversized smoky sconces flank the front door, injecting an unexpected play of scale, light, and materiality. For powder room bath, the finalists are Band Design, Rolling Wood New Build, Band Design, Small Drive Remodel, CGNS Design Build, and the winner is Band Design, Small Drive Remodel. When Band Design renovated this powder room, the clients wanted to add a contemporary look to the space while incorporating a Spanish style to match the furnishings and look of the rest of the home. The wood-toned vanity, in combination with the deep teal backsplash tiles, helped balance the original natural elements of the home with a more modern approach that also gives a subtle nod to the owner's Latin roots. For Primary Suite Modern, the finalists are Band Design, Chloe's Bloom New Build, Hey Now Interiors, Laid Back Ranch, Gin Brannan Architecture and Design, East Third Retreat, and the winner is Jen Brannan Architecture and Design, East Third Retreat. Connection, fluidity, and expansion were the main concepts used to inspire the design of this modern yet warm primary suite. A limited palette of the Ipe wood, white oak flooring, and local Luder limestone was selected as a way to integrate the two environments. The furnishings and art complement the warm hues of the main materials within the suite. Subtle texture and pattern add layers of detail to the room without competing for attention. For Primary Suite Traditional, the finalists are Band Design, Palma Plaza, CGNS Design Build, Funky to Fresh, Urban Space Interiors, Tranquility in the Clouds. And the winner is Band Design, Palma Plaza. When a client asked Band Design to give her primary suite a facelift, she wanted to keep the furnishings that she already had. The interior design group had her bench reupholstered and added custom fabrics to her bedding and bedside table to bring in additional color and texture. Custom pillows helped to complete the suite's updated look. For specialty room, the finalists are Butter Lutz Interiors, Westlake Home Game Room, Carol Richards Interiors, Texas Hill Country Residential Ranch, Cornerstone Architects LLP, West Ridge Residence Gym. And the winner is Cornerstone Architects LLP, West Ridge Residence Gym. The design for this modern glass gym addition by Cornerstone Architects LLP was driven by the goal to maximize the views of the beautiful seven acre property and allow the clients to be surrounded by nature while working out. The 650 square foot gym opens up on three sides with massive floor to ceiling windows. What better place to get in shape? For wine room or bar, the finalists are Epright Homes, Cat Mountain Estate, J. Fisher Interiors, Bell Mountain Wine Cellar, Jenkins Design Build, Contemporary Wine Enthusiast. And the winner is Epright Homes, Cat Mountain Estate. In this Barton Creek home, the climate-controlled wine room attached to the dining room is a showstopper. Inspired by the owner's collection and developed with a wine connoisseur's eye for the optimal storage and display features, the room was built to be aesthetically pleasing as well as highly functional. For use of color, the finalists are Hey Now Interiors, Desert Chic Color Bomb, Jill May Interiors, Venado Residence, Mark Ashby Design, Bolden Pied-a-Terre. And the winner is Mark Ashby Design, Bolden Pied-a-Terre. When Mark Ashby Design was hired to make a spec builder house in Bolden Creek a more vibrant, elevated space for a family to entertain, 
the homeowners requested that the home be full of color, specifically as much University of Texas burnt orange as possible since UT games were to be the main gathering events of the season. Blues and greens complement the oranges found in clever uses of leather, terracottas, and rust. For use of a collection, antiques, or art, the finalists are Doglish Construction and Mark Ashby Design, Collector Car Garage, Lee Chu Designs Limited, El Greco Dining Room. And the winner is Doglish Construction and Mark Ashby Design, Collector Car Garage. This project is a display of rare and vintage collectible cars in a newly designed garage. The team worked with the owner and engineer to develop design details into exquisite construction finishes and functionality into hyper user-friendly arrangements. The garage includes a rare BMW sports car hung on the wall like a piece of art and a custom neon light piece with hidden support infrastructure. And now the categories in details, starting with custom cabinetry. And the finalists are Amity Worrell and Company, Cherry Creek. Hey Now Interiors, Desert Chic Color Bomb. McKinney York Architects, Westlake Residence. And the winner is Hey Now Interiors, Desert Chic Color Bomb. Hey Now Interiors finds that going vertical with custom carpentry solutions not only grounds and defines spaces, but it usually makes life easier with more storage. When renovating this home, they made the galley kitchen smaller by cutting it off with a laundry room at the end. They hid the laundry by stacking the units behind custom cabinets with slide-in pocket doors, which gave them room for a pantry with pull-out drawers. For custom or repurposed furniture, the finalists are Liz McPhail Interiors, West Enfield Pattern and Patina. Philip Morley Furniture, Record Console. Shear and Company Interior Design, Oak Hill Dining Room. And the winner is Liz McPhail Interiors, West Enfield Pattern and Patina. This custom dining table is an exercise in simplicity, color, and scale. The dining room it was created for lacked visual appeal and personality, so the solution was a table that uniquely combined an oversized, hand-selected, board-by-board white oak top with a base formed of two curved, forged, and powder-coated steel tubes. For fireplace, the finalists are Two Blue Chairs, Oak Haven Collard Carpentry, Balconies Mosier Luxury Homes, Deep Eddy Residence And the winner is Mosier Luxury Homes, Deep Eddy Residence in keeping with the design objective of maintaining a functional and fluid indoor-outdoor entertaining space, this unique floating ethanol fireplace rotates for 360 degree use. Not only does the fireplace provide ambiance and warmth, it also maintains the flow within the combined living areas. For flooring, the winner is Mark Odom Studio, Inglewood Residence. The custom terrazzo foundation flooring is one of the most unique features of the Inglewood residence. The builder, along with the project team and homeowner, threw 1,800 pounds of carefully selected colored glass by hand to set the floor. Mother of pearl, mirrored bronze, and teal glass were all included to complement the natural tones used throughout the mid-century modern home. One of the struggles we all endure as we continue to do business virtually is finding the perfect lighting for those constant Zoom calls. Well, look no further as we present the winners and finalists in. For lighting, the finalists are Envy Builders, Feather House, Wimberley Glassworks, River Timber Blown Glass Lighting Ensemble. And the winner is Envy Builders, Feather House. This house called for a lighting strategy in the kitchen that aligned with the modern and minimalist design of the project. With its custom mud-in LED system, the result is a truly special lighting array centered on the island that makes an artistic statement on the ceiling. Task lighting is needed over each of the perimeter sinks and is achieved with complementary but higher output LED light bars. For millwork, the finalists are Amity Worrell and Company, Holiday House, Chelsea Kloss Interiors, Moon Tower, 
collared carpentry, Alta Vista. And the winner is Chelsea Kloss Interiors, Moon Tower. The geometric nature of the millwork detail was crafted and designed to add both pattern and dimension while still accommodating lighting applications and ventilation as needed. The work of art was crafted out of rift-cut white oak, which was a species already present in the space, helping to marry it to the surrounding finishes. For stone or tile, the finalists are Amity Worrell and Company, Alta Vista, Band Design, Small Drive Remodel, Dick Clark and Associates Architecture and Interiors, West Lake Haven. And the winner is Dick Clark and Associates Architecture and Interiors, West Lake Haven. At this West Lake Hills house, large format porcelain tile seamlessly blends the interior to the exterior, while vertical chopped stone wraps from the outside in. Dick Clark and Associates incorporated blue and white concrete tile in key spots of the home, while the primary bath features a combination of white and gray marble along with gray quartz countertops, which creates a nice juxtaposition of pattern and color. Now for the categories in home, starting with ADU. And the finalists are Quarter Lab Design Build, La Petite, Set Studio, West Mary, David Wilkes Builders, Pool Cabana. And the winner is David Wilkes Builders, Pool Cabana. Once a dingy apartment space, this North University unit was revived into a fully functioning poolside entertainment area. The accessory dwelling unit features a minimalist look with a navy painted kitchenette, a dining nook, a powder bath, brown and white tile, bohemian pillows, and plenty of plants. For apartment, loft, or condo, the finalists are David Wilkes Builders, Austin City Lofts, the Rue Architects, number 33. Urban Space Interiors, Downtown Italian Lux. And the winner is David Wilkes Builders, Austin City Lofts. For this renovation, the intent was to create a striking but quiet backdrop against which the owner's art, furnishings, and collections could take prominence. The team put charcoal doll tile flooring throughout the condo and worked with stone oak millwork for elements like a built-in dining table and two-story media and storage cabinet. A lime green backsplash and citron yellow glass bench panel added pops of color. For architecture, modern, up to 3,500 square feet, the finalists are A Parallel Architecture, Canopy House, Chioko Design, Hemlock Avenue House, Mark Odom Studio, Inglewood Residence. And the winner is A Parallel Architecture, Canopy House. This design by A Parallel Architecture employs a large canopy structure, economically constructed but carefully proportioned and detailed to provide for a series of outdoor living spaces arranged around a large central courtyard. The home's roof canopy and overhangs are configured to take advantage of optimal solar orientation and prevailing breezes while the building footprint is carefully threaded between the towering oak and pecan trees to maximize beneficial seasonal shading. For architecture, modern, more than 3,500 square feet, the finalists are Dick Clark and Associates Architecture and Interiors, Skybox, Furman Kyle Architects, Vale House, Tim Cuppet Architects, Belmont Park, and the winner is Dick Clark and Associates Architecture and Interiors, Skybox. Using two simple and elegant forms, Dick Clark and Associates added a sense of discovery from the moment you step onto this property. From the entry sequence that envelops you in a visual, tactile experience through the floor plan that opens up to engage the landscape. The material palette on both the exterior and interior of the home are warm, traditional materials, but used in a reductive and contemporary way that is edited but still luxurious. For architecture, traditional, more than 3,500 square feet, the finalists are Cornerstone Architects LLP, Ledge Mountain Residence, Cornerstone Architects LLP, Rosewood Residence, Geshke Group Architecture, Onion Creek Farmhouse. And the winner is Cornerstone Architects LLP, Ledge Mountain Residence. 
Designed for family life and entertaining, this home sets on a large, sloped site with stunning Northwest Hills views and nature trails running along Bull Creek. The domicile is designed to maximize natural lighting and take full advantage of the surrounding vistas. Its recessed entry with steel and glass front doors leads into a light and airy two-story foyer, highlighting views to the back. For historic renovation 50 years and older, the finalists are Bercy Chen Studio LP, Foothill Residence, CG&S Design Build, Mise en Place in French Place, Cumbie Group, J. Bolden Residences. And the winner is Bercy Chen Studio LP, Foothill Residence. At this residence, which was a renovation and addition of a mid-century modern home, architecture, nature, and light are used to effectively create a sense of calm and comfort for its inhabitants. An open concept public wing that maximizes communal space and a modestly sized private wing delineates the house's modern layout. Bercy Chin Studio Edition and Renovation builds on the L-shaped plan to accommodate for the home's present day owners. For Home in the Hill Country, the finalists are Cornerstone Architects LLP, Spicewood Residence, Dick Clark & Associates Architecture and Interiors, Lago Vista, J. Fisher Interiors, Willow City Ranch, and the winner is Cornerstone Architects LLP, Spicewood Residence. The goal for this Hill Country contemporary home was to work with the land. The design nestles the home within the existing live oak trees and includes a patio oriented around a large live oak next to the pool. Natural light and open spaces were key elements and remote controlled operable transom windows were incorporated to act as a thermal chimney to cool off the main rooms. For interior design modern, the finalists are Mark Ashby Design, House on Taylor's Branch, Liz McPhail Interiors, West Enfield Pattern and Patina, Sarah Stacy Interior Design, Ladera Norte. And the winner is Sarah Stacy Interior Design, Ladera Norte. When working on this project, Sarah Stacy Interior Design enhanced the limited palette of white, black, and oak by varying textures throughout the home. Unique touches were added by creating a customized floating white oak vanity in the guest bathroom, custom wood pools in the primary bathroom and closet, and black finger grooves in the kitchen cabinets. For interior design traditional, the winner is Band Design Camelot New Build. For this new build, the client requested a down-to-earth vibe that felt comfortable for entertaining. The homeowners wanted their space to have a modern farmhouse feel to it, so that theme greatly influenced the decision process for selecting materials. To distinguish this house, band design played with many textures, colors, and array of wallpapers. For new model home architecture, the winner is Baron Custom Design Urban Retreat. This home boasts great views of downtown Austin and a spacious rooftop level additional balcony that is ideal for hosting. The design by Baron Custom Design is rooted in a creative craftsman vernacular and this one-of-a-kind kitchen backsplash and era specific light textures provide an updated trip to the 60s. For remodel up to 1,000 square feet, the finalists are Band Design Small Drive Remodel Hey Now Interiors, Desert Chic Color Bomb. And the winner is Hey Now Interiors, Desert Chic Color Bomb. For this stylish remodel, Hey Now Interiors laid new flooring, brightened up the walls, gutted the kitchen and bathrooms, found pieces that suited the homeowners, and paid homage to the things the couple loves, such as dogs, cocktails, music posters, and family heirlooms. They added color in rugs, ceilings, and walls throughout the home and bounced light wherever they could with brighter hues and glass-paned doors. For remodel more than 1,000 square feet, the finalists are The Rue Architects, Ski Slope Restructure Studio, Brookhaven Remodel Weber Studio Architects, Poyeth Residence And the winner is Weber Studio Architects, Toyeth Residence in this renovated Freedman's Cottage in Austin's historic Clarksville neighborhood, 
linear skylights, frosted glass partitions, and ample windows bathe the home in swaths of light that combined with a natural palette anchored by walls clad in oak creates a serene, relaxed environment reminiscent of the home's historical roots. Custom locally sourced steel fixtures throughout reinforce its modern metamorphosis into a 21st century landmark. In the categories of commercial design, starting with building architecture, the finalists are Barley Pfeiffer Architecture, Hidden Trails Mark Odom Studio, West 49th Office Spect Architects, Carpenter Hotel And the winner is Mark Odom Studio, West 49th Office In this office designed by Mark Odom Studio, the user experience is enhanced by natural light coming in from the continuous run of steel-framed windows on both sides. The building takes direct cues from the surrounding residential structures in terms of scale, form, and materiality. Its asymmetrical roof line maximizes the window heights along the southern face and stays below the maximum allowed building height. For landscape design, the winner is... Ten Eyck Landscape Architects, Inc., Commodore Perry Estate. Ten Eyck made it a visual feast with updates including new formal streetscapes and renovated property walls, a textural gravel entry drive along a marching sycamore alley, new mansion and hotel entries, courtyards, and a renovation of the historic rose garden and parterres. For lobby, the finalists are Brit Design Group, Rhythm, Chelsea Kloss Interiors, Moon Tower, Spec Architects, Indeed. And the winner is Spec Architects, Indeed. At the center of this 11-story office is a dramatic central atrium that connects the floors with a pair of grand stairs that allow all Indeed personnel to move freely throughout the building. Concrete, wood, glass, and touches of the brand's signature blue and orange colors bring the project together into a space that doesn't rely on trendy forms or gimmicks, but simply represents the dynamic ideas of a people-oriented company driven by the latest technology. For Office, the finalists are Dick Clark & Associates Architecture & Interiors, C&R Office Furman & Kyle Architects 1211 East 11th Studio. Urban Space Interiors, Industrial Turned Zen. And the winner is Dick Clark and Associates Architecture and Interiors, C&R Office. When re-envisioning an antiquated office building along Shoal Creek, Dick Clark and Associates utilized the simplicity of the building's mid-century form as the backdrop and added a warm pecan wood to the front facade and entry. The stucco that wraps the front corners and courtyard is done in an English finish, and the roof of the existing central courtyard was lifted up off the building to create a light-filled entryway that highlights the owner's artwork. For restaurant or bar, the winner is Matthew Tsong, Sazan Ramen. At this restaurant, Matthew Tsong sought to create a space that would transport guests from a dated strip center to a Parisian-inspired loft that balances elements of Japanese modern and Scandinavian Huga comfort. A symbiotic relationship in materiality showcases slabs of Italian marble, bleached oak, natural clay, terrazzo aggregate, glass, and steel that beautifully flow from the ceiling, walls, and millwork to the dining tables, banquettes, and chairs. For retail interior design, the finalists are Heather Scott Home and Design, Windy Well Jewelry Store, Villianne Steckel Interior Design, Palomino Coffee, McKinney York Architects, Optique. And the winner is McKinney York Architects, Optique. Positioned on a busy shopping street, this boutique eyeglass store stands in contrast to the dark windows of neighboring shops. A brightly lit custom steel and glass storefront frames the entry pivot door with a glass vitrine that projects onto the sidewalk, showing a curated selection of eyewear. Wood and mirrored panels create a backdrop for the merchandise. And now, we're excited to present the winners and finalists for our top awards. For General Excellence Architecture, the finalists are A Parallel Architecture, Dick Clark & Associates Architecture and Interiors, Joseph Design Build. And the winner is 
Dick Clark & Associates Architecture and Interiors. Dick Clark & Associates often uses regional materials to create architecture that blurs the line between indoor and outdoor living. With projects as varied as an interior lot in Terrytown, large, challenging sites in Westlake Hills, and the revitalization of an old pawn shop in East Austin, their designs all contain the firm's signature, thoughtful, modern aesthetic. For general excellence interior design, the finalists are Amity Worrell and Company, Britt Design Group, Sarah Stacy Interior Design, and the winner is Amity Worrell and Company. Seamlessly blending beauty with function, Amity Worrell and Company brings to life the distinctive requests of its clientele. Whether a homeowner desires a California cool meets eclectic Austin vibe, an array of colors and patterns splashed across their dwelling, or a home that feels like it's in another country, the firm consistently delivers with its unpretentious designs. Rising Star Award, less than five years. The finalists are Carrie Paul Studios, Hey Now Interiors, and the winner is Carrie Paul Studios. With a design aesthetic that is modern, warm, and eclectic, Carrie Paul Studios always tries to add custom and one-of-a-kind elements into their projects. For one home, the studio incorporated a lot of traditional mid-century elements such as walnut, chrome, and matte black accents, and drew partial inspiration from a trip in which they saw the Mathematica exhibit by Charles Eames at the Boston Museum of Science. In addition to honoring companies that have completed stellar projects in the last couple years, we also wanted to give recognition for career achievement. Our Legacy Award goes to an Austin firm that has consistently distinguished itself over the years and needs no introduction. Selected by the Austin Home editorial team, the winner is Michael Shu Office of Architecture. Sleek, detail-oriented, and effortlessly cool, the projects of Michael Shu Office of Architecture are instantly recognizable. From its dynamic residential homes to the stylish restaurants and bars it's designed, such as Uchiko, Sway, Loro, and Ellis, the firm led by visionary architect Michael Shu has elevated the capital city's design scene for more than 15 years. The Reader's Choice Best Overall Home was voted on by Austin Home Readers from the finalists of the Architecture and Interior Design categories, and the winner is... Dick Clark & Associates Architecture and Interiors, Skybox. Readers were dazzled by this property, which features a wood brick and stucco exterior and thick slabs of quartzite, black woods, lacquer, and steel in the interior. Door and window locations were strategically placed to bring in comforting and dramatic natural light. Thank you all so much for joining us tonight and congratulations to all the winners. Thank you to our sponsor, Keller Williams. And of course, I must recognize my dear friend, Trevor Scott. Thank you for being such a wonderful host. Thank you for having me tonight, Madeline. We appreciate it. Thank you and good night.